my first day in rehab, I met Chris Cornell. Had you known Chris before? I, we met in a partying scenario, but like this was the real Chris Cornell, like sober, mm -hmm. and we were both in trouble, and like he was he was getting ready to do Audio Slave, and I was getting ready. To, you know, I had just canceled a two year tour. I was bummed out that it was a twelve step program because I'm an atheist. So I was like, well, fuck, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> and Chris grabbed me and he said, dude, this is it. This is the only known remedy that like works. So if you want to stay here and be sober with me, that'd be awesome. Like you can't leave. And he kept me in rehab. Mm -hmm. And I, to this day, remember that like, he's like, you got to stay here. You can't leave. Don't leave me here alone. You know, like you gotta, you gotta be sober with me. And like, cause he had 10 days and I had, you know, two. Yeah. So I stayed in rehab because of Chris Cornell. Wow. And when he passed away, that was just another reminder of how amazingly horrible this disease really is.